previously on the No VPU channel. Huh? Not yet. Huh? No. <laughs> And coming up, what are the chances that this stable would be under a star? It's far-fetched. I find you very rude. <laughs> the Novimpia Channel is made possible thanks to our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive Garbo. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you, the snaffy! Good evening, and welcome to this Novimpia treat. That's Nova. I'm Olympia. And my brand new Marks and Spencer shapewear is so firmly up my... It's so small. <laughs> it, I've got about 12 pounds worth stuck up my ass. It's Michael Caine for Marks and Spencer. <laughs> I don't know why sizing is so off. You still fat for it. Sizes my, are off, the mill portions are off. My crotch area, it's so tight and compact, it's so smooth. Oh. Uh, in Thank the, you for sharing that. Like in the mirror, I can see so much of my thigh that I didn't even know I had. Don't look at it. I'm allowed to look. To, to, uh, uh, oh, and today, Nova thought it would be great if we come together at Don't Yule, put this on me. Yule Tide. Don't put this on me. Um, <laughs> first of all, if I said I liked your body, would you hold it against me? Yes. I'll think about it. <laughs> it's Yuletide, and therefore we have decided to what come Yuletide together. I wonder if it will ever start, though. Yuletide. Yeah, like what's the origins of Yuletide? Where did that come from? What does it mean? Yuletide. It's Yule like the means like Yule. Shut up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's when it comes in on a tide. Someone sends a log. Like a tide pod. Someone sends a log into puts a log in the sea. Okay, now listen, before we get into this dog today, it's gonna be, oh, I don't know, this was her idea. Anyway. A dog, we're a going, Christmas dog. We're going to take a second, we'll talk about the Christmas dog later, <laughs> to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Surfshark. Surfshark is a virtual private network that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the data sent between your device and the internet so your personal data is protected. So look, we're already on to a winner, but if you download Surfshark VPN, you can also switch the real location of your device with an entirely new one. Which means if you're outside of the UK or whichever country, you can use Surfshark to change your location online and you can immediately have access to a much wider variety of content. And you guys, they've got servers in over 100 countries, so chances are you'll be covered. Um, okay, so I don't fully trust my mother's cooking. And for Christmas this year at my parents' house, um, obviously, Ina, Bertha Contessa Ina Garten, has got all the answers. So I'm using Surfshark in the UK to access the Food Network's website because you can't watch them for free in the UK. And now I'm watching Ina because she's got all the answers. My mother hasn't got any, she hasn't got a clue. <laughs> For all of our American viewers, by switching to the UK, you can access additional content on Netflix like RuPaul's Drag Race. You can also use Surfshark to get better deals on tasty items like airline tickets, or just use it to mask your internet data from your ISP. It's also available for download on all of your devices with unlimited logins. There's no risk in trying Surfshark VPN because they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're looking for a new VPN or looking to upgrade your existing one, then check out the link in the description box below, and they're still running the Black Friday deal till December 31st. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Oh, sorry. That was my tip. By using the code NOVIMPIA, you can now get 85% off plus an additional three months for free. So check out the link below and thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Mwah. We're going to tell you the story of the Nativity story. Also, just another little like side. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? You're worse than I am today. This is what I'm like all the time. Fuck. Where does what does the word nativity mean? It it it's the word. It's the story of the birth of native people of the of the Messiah in a choir. No, but what's the word? What does the word nativity mean? Farting. Why is it called nativity? I've never heard it. It's used like if it was a movie, other. it would be called nativity. But why is there someone? Because that's the name nativity? of it. Why is it called the Bible? I don't fucking know. Because We're not here to determine the etymology of Because the Bible comes from the Latin word for book. What did you say? First of all, is that true? I would assume so, because there's lots of European languages to do with Bibliography. books. Bibliography. Yeah. Biblioteca. Condolescences. Libra library. Oh my god, that's interesting, isn't it? Kind of playing it fast and loose with the word interesting. Uh, it's got the same... Assume. I don't know why it's called the, nati the nativity. Okay. Um... 
Well, we're going to tell it to you <laughs> from memory, the best of our knowledge. The thing I wanted to ask yes. you, first of all, yes. is did you perform the nativity at school? We must have done, but do you know what? Oh, no, I do have a memory. Not to fear, little children. I will help. <laughs> and I was did just you... trying to say I don't have a memory of actually performing it, but I've got a memory of... of wearing a tea towel on my head. That was going to be my next question. Did you wear a tea towel? Yeah. That's all I they remember, did. I remember wearing a tea towel on my head. I did it twice and I auditioned for the role of Joseph. Mm. Which, let's be honest, you in the nativity... In the nati We auditioned at our school, didn't you audition? Yeah. Well, how old are you? Like eight? Yeah, but then they need to know which kid can read the words out loud. Oh, it was a no. <laughs> they can't just, like, pick it... I auditioned, j auditioned for Joseph. Although, let's be honest, in the nativity, there's no great parts. No. Apart from... Like, who's the Mary star? Mary probably of... says a fair bit. Gabriel says a fair bit. Oh, okay. You're way ahead of me because I don't know who Gabriel is. Oh. Is he in in pertinent to the story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was given the role of, like, shepherd number three, which means, like, stick a t tea towel on your head and you don't get any lines. I feel like maybe I was a wise man. Oh, wait. Someone always played the star as well. Oh, there's a star. Okay, I'm remembering more of this I now. I feel like I might have been a wise man because I remember holding a box. A great irony. <laughs> because what? You're a wise woman. But then I only have one memory of doing the nativity and then all, all my other like school plays that I remember doing were nothing to do with Jesus. I, the earliest one I can remember apart from sticking a tea towel on my head was playing um, a reindeer, like being a reindeer. So it was Christmassy, but not biblical. I have one memory. Just one? Yeah. <laughs> about uh, hiding <laughs> Okay, so let's tell the story now. And I feel like the best way of doing this is like, if I try the best that I can, because you, I think, know more. I think I've got a pretty good grasp of it. Well, let's go back in time, shall we? It's to... so drummed into you Oh, wait, kid, the year... The, UK. the year zero would have been the year zero. Yeah. So if they're on the calendar, they're like, oh, it's the year zero. <laughs> no? Wait, that can't be right, <laughs> can it? I think they previously would have been using the hen... The he different calendar. The Vitruvian calendar was the first one. Mm. What? Well, uh, the Romans would have been using a Roman calendar, wouldn't they? And now which one do we use? Gregorian? Yes. Okay, so it's the year zero. And the way I remember it, Mary and Joseph, they're nothing really special, are they? They're no. just like, you're going down the pub. Oh, maybe we'll bump into Mary and Joseph. Nothing all <laughs> special yeah. about them at all. Until... One day, Joseph. Well, who who is... are Mary and Joseph? Oh my God! Is there like? Do they? Ha is there a prequel? Well, it's just they got. Like, I don't know much about Mary, but like, what was Joseph? She had profession? a little lamb. No. And Joseph probably was like a woodcutter or something. Close. Oh my God! Do you, how do you know this information? Because it's like part of like Jesus's upbringing as well. Well, how, but how do you know about Jesus's upbringing? You were listening. Because I went to school and listened. You were listening, I wasn't. I was too busy sucking and so, fucking. Fucking sex, sucking. Joseph <laughs> was a carpenter. Oh my God, I think I, no, Jesus was a carpenter. Yes, because his father Family was a carpenter. Family business, family business. <laughs> and Mary was, Mary was stuck at home, like. Mary was a woman. <sighs> Mary was stuck at home. If you were a woman in biblical times, you were either homemaker or whoer. Mary was both. <laughs> was, no, she wasn't a whoer because it was an immaculate conception. The virgin. Oh, right, okay. Wait, it's the virgin Mary. Yeah. She never gave it up. Did you think that I was going to give it up to you? No, because I'm the virgin Mary. I feel like she's one um, gyno appointment away from finding out that she is not, in fact... A virgin. This is the whole point of this, because it was an immaculate conception. So she says. Which is the name of a tattoo parlour here, isn't it? There's immaculate an immaculate chaos. Oh. <laughs> what would you get there? Wait, yes. okay, right, that's great then. So Mary is a virgin. Joseph is like, God, I shouldn't have married her because she won't <laughs> give it up to me. But then the angel, the good angel, Wenceslas. No. <laughs> an angel came and, and knocked her up. Yes. Is the name have a name? An angel have a name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay. Oh, this could take a while. But there's no reason. Fear that... not. Did he? Something like that. Did he put something in her? He appeared and told her that she has been chosen 
to bear the child of God. But why her? She the probably got down to bear the son of God. She got down on knees and said, "Why me? Yeah, I am but a lowly house hooer. <laughs> why me, bitch?" <laughs> I feel like basically she had a few drinks one night and got knocked up and there's no angel at all when she missed her red she was like fuck joseph is gonna be really upset with me i'm gonna tell him it was an angel i don't know like i feel like we don't get many religious people over here but do we put like a warning before this like if you like this story don't watch this Mm. people listen people can like the story so long as they accept that it has little to no historical validity Yeah, but when it first came out, it was reviewed as the greatest story ever told. (laughs) Five stars. Rotten Tomatoes, like 98. Audience, 70. This is going to take a while if we don't move forward. Okay, all right. So, okay. So, there's no reason she was chosen. Why me? (laughs) Okay, so Gabriel's like, "Uh, first of all, guess what? You're going to have the best Christmas. Oh, Christmas didn't exist yet. No. He was like, there's a Christmas present for you now in your belly. And she was like, what is that? What's what's Christmas? (laughs) What's the Christmas present? What is Christmas? Joseph comes home. Presumably he wasn't there at the time. Was he there though? What do you mean? Was Joseph there when Gabriel came in? I don't know. In like all the stories I remember, this just kind of like happened at night time to like Mary alone. So Gabriel goes then. He's gone. He's out of the picture at this point. Yeah. Okay. So then why do they leave the house they're in? Do you not know? Oh. No. Is this it to do with the three wise men? No. Oh, fucking hell. (laughs) Okay. I feel like I am really surprised how little you remember this and how well I remember it. Why would I create any space in my brain for this nursery nursery rhyme tale, fairy tale? Like hundreds of Pokemon in my brain and still have this in my brain then. Yeah, but you really do live your life wrongly. (laughs) This t- this dress is like ten. It's the oldest thing you own. It's yeah, still going strong. Recycling. It's still going strong. You know why I don't wear stuff that I had ten years ago? You don't fit can't in fit in it. Yeah, yeah. You still fat for it. This underwear yeah. really is too small. I've got like four butts. Do you want me to tell you why they left the house? <laughs> yeah. Right. So <clears throat> there was a census that required everybody to travel back to the city of their birth. Oh my God, Nazareth. And Joseph was from Nazareth. So that's why they went on a donkey. Yes. Presumably that's all he could swing. Yeah, Because he'd spent all the money down the pub. And she, but by the time this rolls around, she's like super prego. Wait, hang on a second. So does Jesus give birth in Nazareth? Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah, but what the fuck's Bethlehem then? That's I think Bethlehem might be in Nazareth. Sama. People out there in our nation don't have that. Oh, really? I don't know. I thought he gave birth in Bethlehem in a preta manger. <laughs> don't look it up. Oh, You're not I allowed feel to. like Bethlehem is in Nazareth, but I don't know. I personally believe. So they Maybe get. To that question. They are. Oh, you know what I do remember? They get to Nazareth. Hello. Yeah, you're right. She's pregnant at this point. Yes. I had a, an art teacher once and she used to make sculptures and she would make little sculptures of Mary, but with a pregnant belly. Right. And she was like, you never see this ever. Like, you don't ever see Mary with a pregnant belly. No, you don't. It's true. Mary with a pregnant belly. Look at it. Look it up. You couldn't understand the magic. (laughs) You couldn't understand the magic. You weren't even alive. You weren't even alive. They get there then, but there's no room at the inn. I remember that because there was a song I had to perform. I was part of the, like, ensemble choir. Correct. The Messiah in the choir. And there was a song and it was like, there ain't no room at the inn. Fuck off. Obviously, there wasn't the F word in there, but it was those along those lines. Um, yeah, basically, they cannot find anywhere to stay. But should you use Mary is like, so prego, oh my God, is it twins? Imagine possibly. turning away a pregnant woman. But I'm thinking in those days, people were probably just shit in the street. Well, they were poor. They had a smelly ass with them. And... And a donkey. No money. You're a dickhead. Yeah, but she's pregnant. How rude, wouldn't you? What would you do? What would you do? Okay, this is going out to all of you crazy kids at home. If a pregnant woman knocks on your door and she's like, I have traveled so far and I'm about to, Lisa's about to fall out of me. Get this out of me. What are you going to do? Close the door in her face? I mean, or invoke the Christmas spirit and let her birth on your kitchen floor. What are you going to do? 
What are you going to do? I mean, if you choose to have a child, then... I'd call the police. I'd say she needs to be shot on sight. Are you all right over there? Shot Are you on still sight. participating? Yes. What do you look like? I look really nice. You're not cutting it, baby. No, I look great. Thanks a lot for coming. Um, finally, they find... What's with the somewhere. star, though? Does he happen... That comes into it. I'll get to that. He gives... No, we're but... not there yet. That comes into it. All right. So finally, we find somewhere... And oh, they find the stable. The innkeeper's like, I ain't got no rooms, but if you're real despo, I've got a stable and you can literally sleep with the animals in the shit and piss and squalor, and that's fine. Get in the stable like the pig that you are, Mary. So that's what happened. In the shit and piss and squalor. Meanwhile... Mary's like, it's oh, it's com- happening. It's coming. Oh, oh it's you're happening. really doing it, aren't you? You're shitting oh, in the stable. Oh, God. Okay. And at some point, Gabriel returns and he's like, babe, it's fine. It's going to be a big party. People are going to come because they're going to know that you've got the son of God and he's coming out of you. Does Mary tell Joseph, you're, you're, you're never going to believe this. You um, Get this, right? Angel came down. Oh, my God. You're not going to believe this. And... I'm now with child. <laughs> but that that's not, like. but that is not even at the end of the star, right? Right, the cast. <laughs> you're never going to believe this. It's the son of God. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. That's exactly, no, that is what I said. I said, there is absolutely no way that's true. But I'm, I'm told it's true. That's the son of God in my belly. <laughs> You're a dick. You'd need some convincing, <laughs> wouldn't you, really? Well, I feel like the convincing comes in the fact that all of a sudden a shitload of people start turning up. Avon calling. Well, why um, do they believe it? Because... The angel told them. Yes. An angel of the Lord came down and taught them how to... No. Yes. No, that's the bad version from the Vicar of Dibley. So, Gabriel basically does like a little mini tour. Angel. Gabriel, live in 2020. Of Israel. And it's just like, yo, son of God's about to be born. You don't ever think of it as being Israel, do you? Um, It's Israel. That's so bizarre. Yeah. Imagine if they were like, Jesus of Nazareth, comma, Belgium. Like, it's so weird to think of like, the, the being... It starts going around and there's like these... Um, Three wise men. Although I believe the Bible never actually says how many there are. It's just like interpretations. The three three. wise men follow the the star. Yes, I believe the Bible just says wise men. But because there were three gifts, it's often What are the chances that this stable would be under a star? It's far-fetched. No, the the angel puts the star there. (laughs) So everybody knows. So when he's busy going around saying, Oh, Oh, do you want to see the son of God? It's just under that star over there. So if you just follow the star, it doesn't matter where you are, just follow the star and eventually you get there. And the three wise men Quite brought clever, really. gifts yes, you remember what they of There's only one Frankenstein. good one. No. Go- I want to say gold is yes. one of them. Yes, that's Frank- the only good one. Frankincense. Yeah. And fucking ugly shoes. Is it myrrh? Yes. But what are all of those? Well, I know what gold is. Gold is cold. So gold, I think, was supposed to symbolise... Pusser. Not well, like royalty, rich, but like riches. He's like the son of God. Oh, they're supposed to mean something. Yeah, I can't remember what frankincense was. It's like incense, like a, it, it's like vitality of scent. But Mare was a bit controversial, and I bet Mary was like, fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Because Mare had like links to funerals and death. Well, what is Mare? I'm not sure. Some kind of like spice or something? I don't know. Is it like the spice of life? I don't know. But Mer was linked to death and it was supposed to symbolise the fact that, like, he's gonna die and come back. He's gonna die! <laughs> because he's just not, not having all the vitamins. So... Oh, because he does... Oh, my God! So they were throwing in, like, flash-forwards. Yeah. Before, like, like in Lost or something. Because they were wise men. So they were, like, um... Um... What do they call that? Like, a soothsayer. Like, three like of them. A soothsayer reads, like bones what what but then what happens when they get there okay everyone's there and it's like holy shit and then there was a bit where there's like won't all someone these... cut the umbilical cord this woman's in agony and there's all these shepherds and they're like oh my god 
that star looks a bit weird. Like, is it an alien or? Whoa, no. And Gabriel comes to them as one. It's just like, oh my god, no, sorry, I forgot about you because you're on pulpits. But like, if you want to see Jesus as well, you totally can. That's what that's for. So, so they're now doing it. a meet and greet. Um, so Jesus is born. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was yes. born on Christmas <laughs> Day. And everyone's there. Okay, and then who decided they were like, oh, well now let's quick get rid of the calendars quick because we have to start now. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Who did that? What was that for? I can't imagine it happened like during Jesus's life. Quick, he's out. Get that off the wall, quick. <laughs> okay. But I think that's kind of Is it, that it? Basically, yeah. There was a bit where like gossip started getting round that She don't love herself. He was being born. Her baby's fucking and ugly. So was ugly. it ki the king was not very happy because he was like, I'm the fucking king. That's king Wenceslas. Herod. What the fuck does Wenceslas mean? You know what that is. That you're allowed to look up. Get your pick up your phone. How do you spell Wenceslas? Well, start typing and it'll finish it. Say it. Say it. Tell Siri. <laughs> Just say Siri Wenceslas. Siri, who's Wenceslas? <gasps> Wenceslas. A German king. Wenceslas of Luxembourg, king of Bohemia from 1378 until his death. I don't think that's very relevant. No, that's to do with the nativity. That's a different one. Po well, what? Well, well, when does Pontius Pirate come into it? I don't know who that is. Oh. What's, what's Pontius? Poncho's Pirate. Poncho's. I don't know. Paco Rabanne? <laughs> Will someone please save these people from themselves? Where does the nativity fall in the Bible? Is it early? You'd think it would be early on. It's in the New Testament. I never understood that. There's a new and an old one. Yeah. So the Bible is like two... The New Testament starts with, I think, like the birth of Christ. And it's all about... Jesus. Okay. And the Old Testament is old. Huh. I might be losing interest in this. So it's like Cain how and the Abel. world was made. Cain and Abel. How yeah, how animals were made, what God did and dicked about with before. Uh, Cain and born. Cain and Abel were brothers. Yes. Who's the who's the bum one? Oh that's Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that about us? Something to do with the ass. I can't remember. Okay, well, but Cain and Abel, one of them killed the other one, or was yes. going to. What about Oksana? Oh no. Oh no, that was that feral child in... Never mind. Never I mind. think that's the nativity, I think that's the story. And now it's like traditional to give gifts because people bought Brought Jesus gifts. gifts. Oh my God, is that why that happens? And there's a star on top of the tree because there was a star. Oh my God, this is blowing my mind. I can't believe this. That's so exciting. I understand. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? The most important thing is that you take your lover's hand this Christmas time and appreciate one another because Christmas is the time. <laughs> the season of <laughs> goodwill. So, so nearly had something there. The season of goodwill to all men on earth. Is that what it is? I don't know. They call it that. A few good men. A few good men. What's that? Okay, well, I think we've said, we said most of it. Yes. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming. A Merry Christmas from Nova and I. There's probably loads more to that. Fill us in downstairs. Oh, I don't care. Because I don't. <laughs> well, or don't. I mean, or don't. Who cares? Um, it might be interesting to know your earliest memories of like maybe doing like nativity plays at school. Were you taught this at school? Who played or the are star? You, are you from somewhere in the world where this was not drummed into you from a young age? I'm telling you, someone out there, one of you played the star. Me. Okay, listen. We are thankful that you are here. Next week is our last video of the year. We're doing a year roundup year in review, yes. which is very, very exciting. Um, but in a weird way. for... What? I just hiccuped in a weird way. Give me that tip. <laughs> Hard today, isn't it? If you'd like to join us over on the Novimpia Cult Patreon Patron lifestyle, the link mm. will be arriving presently, won't it, Nova? Yes. Ah. What you gonna do with all that ash? Well, that was nice. <clears throat> the Angel Gabriel providing all of you with the our link to Angel Patreon. of the Lord. Do you know what's so stupid is? We could probably remember them from... Are they hymns or Christmas carols? What's the difference? Some of both. Some of those guys over there get birthday shout-outs, including... But not limited to... 
That was gross. Why didn't like you that. do it? I thought you were going to jump in. So no. I was. All right. I was just, Four uh, December twelfth. That sounded weird. Ah, Four December twelfth. <laughs> Dale. Oh my god, get this. December twelfth. Dale Shepherd. Uh, fuck off with that around my bastard childhood. <laughs> And Can you stop saying bastard child? For December 13, we've got three. It's Jem. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jem. Uh, adjoining bungalows, which is adjoining perfect. Adjoining bungalows. Yep. Oh, and Debbie birthday. Doobie Doo Bumblebee. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Debbie Doobie Doo Bumblebee. December 14th, David Carlin. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. December 16th, it is Stuart's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, and December 17th, it is James's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy James. Happy birthday, yeah. Oh, and then for December 19th, it's Witch Bitch Apollo and Bobby Kent. Happy birthday for those two fellow Patron members Happy birthday. Well. I know it can't be easy having <clears throat> a birthday so close to Christmas. So it must I, suck, but... I hope it's not too crap. Um, also, we are on Twitch if you'd like to join us for game night. Yes, we're taking a little bit of a break for the holiday season, but we'll be back after the new year. Um, Check out our schedule. Yeah. You'll see when we're on there. Yes. And all the rest of it. Subscribe if you like. Yeah, please subscribe. There's no pressure to do that. No, there's pressure. But if you if you don't subscribe, don't. I'm going to take it personally because I can see in the analytics the percentage of people that are subscribed and ha who haven't subscribed. If you don't, then Nova's going to continue to wear this fucking dress. Consider that a threat. Bon Noel to our brand new patrons, LJ Briggs, James, Jenny N, Chloe T. Jackson, Saloon, Yay It's Danny, Nacho Mama and Fawzi Shahada. <gasps> <coughs> what have you done? Just spilt my drink everywhere. Oh no. Is, is it alright? Is it squash? Yeah, but it's fine. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron. <laughs> <laughs>